I don't know. Wait, let me just start over. My name is Yuki. I'm the VP of product at Figma. And this talk is an inside look at how Figma runs product. So in my case, I'm using the doc to, um, to run an entire product team. And you know, any company that has more than one team probably would benefit from a doc like this. So yeah, really high level, the doc is, consists of three sections. There's an overview of the active projects, the launch cow, which both looks at what's upcoming in the next few months, as well as a new little section on uh, looking back at past launches and reflecting on how, I, how well they did. Um, and then the third section is individual team pages, where teams are free to customize their views in whatever way useful for them, um, but the data that they're inputting goes ultimately into the source of truth for the roadmap and surfaces in the other views. The heart um, button that's part of the uh, the coordinator meeting, um, you know, people really use it to express support for each other. Uh, and uh, there's this bug where if you hit, you know, if you, you can hit it multiple times to drive up the counter. And so, you know, people can go crazy over a certain project and you'll see like thousands of likes, even though we only have 20 people in the room. And those are the kind of things that I think are kind of uniquely Figma. Um, we also take a quick moment to look at the launch cow view too. And this was a view that we built primarily for marketing. And with marketing, they want to see how launches line up. And oftentimes those are the moments when we realize that we might actually want to bundle a few things. We might realize that one week is quiet or the other one has too many launches and try to refactor that way. And it's also the view that causes a lot of people to correct uh, the dates because sometimes the dates are at fault, become out of date, and all of a sudden it pops up in the calendar and people see that and realize that they should fix it. Um, and this is a replacement of what used to be just a spreadsheet that kept manual track of dates, um, you know, and had to be updated when people remembered. I mean, primarily speaking, uh, the team page I think of as the team wiki. So this is where, you know, people can do a little bit of planning before a project actually becomes active. And especially every quarter when we do quarterly planning, this is the view that people use to discuss trade-offs of what should go on the roadmap for that quarter. So I really think that process is a product in and of itself. And, you know, no one really likes process. And in fact, a lot of people hear that word and it have a negative feeling around it. Um, but if you really treat process like a product, then you really think about, you know, all the users that are involved and how to make the experience as great as possible for them and also make sure that they're getting value out of it. My advice to make sure that you contemplate not just the doc, but you know, the things around it, the people and the process.